Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my previous video I started discussion on support vector machine which is one of the most important and frequently used uh, classification algorithm in machine learning and data science domain. So whatever concept I am going, uh, going to discuss now that hint I have already given in my previous video just I am summarizing those concept and going to show you one visualization so that you will not be getting any confusion with this fundamental concept because these are these are going to help us in our upcoming videos understanding purpose okay so first case if you consider suppose you are having these two types of classes one is this star another one is this red circles now there are many lines which basically divide these two classes okay suppose you consider b line you can consider c line you can consider a line now the question is which line you are going to select obviously this b line why because a line is not not at all dividing these two classes properly because you can see in this a line here some um, uh, uh, data point belonging to this particular circle class is coming and here also some are coming so we should choose that plane only or that line only which is perfectly classify classifying two uh, classes if possible okay like for c again it is not going to uh, be a valid uh, divider for classes because in for c in the upper side some points and for c the below part same uh, data point belonging to same class are present so only acceptable is b straight line right now coming to this particular example when you have this kind of three say uh, three lines where all are basically perfectly uh, segregating two classes then which one you should select obviously this c1 right because you should select such that the margin becomes maximum okay that is the distance in between nearest data point of each class should be maximum okay like if you consider for c the distance between nearest uh, uh, data point belonging to the star class is this one and for this red class is this one which is huge compared to both a and b for a although this class is having huge distance but this red uh, circular class is nearer for b this star class are nearer so we will choose c this is the optimal uh, plane which is dividing these two right and then suppose I am having this type of condition now tell me what you will select whether A or B so you might some of you might give answer A some of you might give answer B why because some of you might say that we should select B because here for B although there is one misclassification is happening but B line as a, has a huge marginal gap in between uh, nearest elements okay where A is not following that but what is the positive point for A? For A, in one side, all these uh, data points belonging to the star class are present and in the other side, all the red data points are present. Not mixed case, but for B, this particular star point is belonging to this side, okay? Whereas rest of the star points are belonging to this side. In this time, which one uh, the MATLAB algorithm is going to select? No doubt, it is going to select A, okay? It will go for misclassification if and only if there is no chance okay for selecting uh, other way okay but if there is still any chance somehow if it is possible to keep all the classes in same uh, site then it will choose that only okay so the answer is it will go it is going to choose a plane right now coming to this one now you tell me which one it is going to select now there is a funda that in this particular case there is no such line possible to draw which will perfectly divide this to uh, class okay so in that uh, time it is going to select this line and this particular uh, star data is going to be misclassified that is okay but if there is possibility then it will obviously try to keep all the uh, data point belonging to one particular class in one side and uh, all the data point belonging to other particular class in another side okay and then coming to kernel which i have already discussed in my previous video suppose in many times you know, we will be getting such data set where uh, this kind of linear classification is not possible like if you uh, see here now tell me what is what is going to happen it is quite clear that there is no line possible right in this way uh, uh, there is no such possible line where 
uh, there will be uh, all these star classes in one side and all these circular classes in one side. Even if you draw any line, there is very high probability of misclassification. Okay. So by that time, what we will do? We will map these two dimensional data set to some higher dimension. So suppose that is going to be equation which we can use. Simply you can understand from mathematical concept that is j equal to x square plus y square. So what will happen as these for all these data point x and y both value small. So for this j value will also not be very high. And for these uh, class elements as the x and y value is comparatively high. So x square plus y square will result into high value. So j will be high. So with respect to when you are adding extra plane, then for all this star data, J value will be higher than compared to this particular circular value. And as a result, we can divide all this using a single plane. Okay. And uh, using that, we can apply uh, classification technique. This particular concept I am going to show you using one very uh, simple visualization, which I hope you can easily understand. And hopefully, you will not forget this particular concept ever okay so let me just clear this all and give warning of also okay so here i have written one code for visualization purpose it is not at all related with this particular svm machine learning concept but uh, this concept will help us to understand how we are mapping our two dimensional data set to higher dimension so that we can classify our two data, uh, two different classes with some linearity. Okay. So I will just uh, post the code in the description box or in the comment section. If you are interested, you can check. Now let me run and show you the simulation. Okay. So here, first of all, this is one plane. Okay. Which is having Z value as zero. X value are ranging from minus 100 to 100. Same goes for Y value ranging from minus 100 to 100. Now I am taking that kind of data point which I have shown you earlier. Okay, if you just check here, I hope you can uh, visualize. See, all these red circular data points and these black data points are on basically same plane. Okay, try to understand. They are on same plane. Their Z value for both the cases are zero, and you cannot find any single line which can classify, which can basically partition these two different classes. So what we do, what I have told you, we apply the formula j equal to x square plus y square and let us implement that. Okay. So when you do j equal to x square plus y square, what will happen for all these red classes as the x and y both value are small. So j which is equal to basically x square plus y square is also small. But for this black uh, class where x and y both are high does not matter negative or positive because we are taking square. So as a result, see, you can understand the Z value are coming very high. Okay. Now you can understand that, that there can be one simple plane we can make above the plane. All the points will belonging to this particular black class and below the point, below the plane, all the points belonging to this red class, right? So J equal to X square plus Y square. If you draw the whole plane, it will look like kind of this. It will take some time. Yes. See how beautifully I hope you can visualize. So J equal to X square plus Y square looks like this. It is quite clear that at 0, 0, that is at center point, it is minimum. And as X and Y increases, it increases. Okay. So this is what about this particular thing. And now the plane we can make here. Okay. Now you see here, this particular magenta color plane, pink, pinkish plane, you just try to understand. Below this plane, all are this basically belonging to red class and above this plane, all are belonging to black class. Okay. Initially here, when you are in this uh, two dimensional plane, we are unable to classify. Okay. Or uh, just segregate these two different class data set. But when you are mapping to higher dimension, see all the uh, black data points belonging to black class are above this um, pink plane and all the red class are below the pink plane. Okay. So this is the beauty of mapping uh, uh, our data set to higher dimension so that we can partition our two uh, or binary class. Okay. And this is what about the visualization. Let me show you once more. Okay. Code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can check. So this is our data set actually in two dimension, which is not possible to classify linearly. 
in we are applying j equal to x square plus y square as a result all the black class gets higher value of j and if you plot completely then it will look like this beautiful oval shape and you can pass one plane which will above the plane all are basically black uh, that is belonging to this black class and below this particular pink plane all are belonging to red class here you can rotate apply rotate 3d and just apply rotation to visualize and get the idea feel the idea okay so this is the powerful concept of kernel which i hope it is clear to you this is all for my this video thank you for watching